Hey folks, this is going to be a video to compare baby back ribs versus St. Louis style ribs. This is purely my opinion. If you ask 10 people, you're going to get at least 12 or 13 or 15 different opinions. So what is a St. Louis style rib to start with? Basically, it's a spare rib that's been trimmed up. The uh, uh, shorter ribs and the, uh, the meaty cap has been pruned or <laughs> pruned off. <laughs> it's been trimmed off. So right here, we've got just a little bit of fat that we're going to trim from our St. Louis style ribs. Uh, the St. Louis style ribs are definitely a little bit more fatty. And if you take anything from this video, just uh, know that if you do anything when smoking your ribs or, or cooking them any other way, remove that membrane. That's so that the smoke and the seasonings can uh, penetrate the meat a whole lot better. Your ribs are probably going to be tough if you don't do this. And there you go. Side by side comparison. The baby back ribs on the left, the St. Louis style ribs on the right. The uh, St. Louis ribs are uh, longer bones. The baby backs are shorter and more curved. Uh, the St. Louis style typically is a little bit meatier, a little bit fatter. Uh, they typically take a little bit longer to cook depending on what your smoking method is. Um, so we're gonna put these in an Orion cooker. Uh, that's a type of smoker. If you've never used one, uh, check out our video of uh, smoking these very ribs here on an Orion cooker. Uh, it's a really effective way to smoke your ribs. We did those for about two hours and they turned out phenomenal. So when it comes to barbecue, I am kind of a purist to start with. Uh, yeah, I like some barbecue sauce spread on uh, on my barbecue, uh, uh, of course I do. It's delicious, but when it comes to uh, this comparison um, or ribs in general, I want nothing but uh, some kosher salt. So we're going to compare uh, apples to apples instead of just a different uh, barbecue sauce that's going to uh, create a different flavor. Um, that's your thing. That's awesome. Uh, that's just not the point of this video. We want to compare these as close to each other as possible. So just doing nothing but some heavy kosher salt on both the baby backs and St. Louis. And like anything, when I'm going to smoke uh, some meat or even grill it, I like to salt it and let it sit for about an hour. Let that salt penetrate the meat, draw out some excess moisture. Um, it just works better that way. So. Here we go, we're going to uh, pierce the uh, ribs and put a um, rib rack through them before we throw them on the smoker. Now I've got to tell you, with the Orion cooker, we need about two hours to smoke these and they will be falling off the bone. If you're using a pellet grill, I think that takes about three hours. Um, again, you ask 10 people, you're going to get 10 to 15 different opinions on how to smoke. This works for me. Two hours in this uh, contraption. Uh, if you've never used one of these guys, just go ahead and watch that uh, video we did on smoking ribs in an Orion cooker. It, it will go in more detail about how this thing is used and how it works, but uh, definitely worth the money. And uh, the, pro uh, the end, uh, end is uh, really, really good. So I have no complaints about this method of smoking. And there it is, two hours later, there's our St. Louis style ribs falling off the bone. And that is just a work of art there. So here's our comparison, the baby back on the left, the St. Louis on the right. Um, it just completely fell apart on the baby backs. Not surprising that the baby backs uh, require less cooking time than the St. Louis, but half the baby backs just completely fell apart. But that is absolutely beautiful. So here is uh, the final results in comparing the two. The baby back does not require as long to cook. No surprise there. They're smaller. They're uh, less meaty. Uh, a lot of restaurants will use, chain restaurants will use those because they're just easier to cook. Most barbecue joints don't use baby backs. They use uh, uh, St. Louis style or even spare ribs. But either way, look at how tender that meat is. That's just falling apart. Uh, some aficionados do not like the meat to be that tender. Again, this is personal preference. Uh, I love it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and chop off a couple of 
these uh, bones from the baby backs and uh, is one from the St. Louis style so we can compare these one rib compared to another rib and uh, there's the St. Louis style rib if you look at it it's bigger it's meatier the bone is longer uh, but let's talk about the flavor of them uh, well first off if you look at them if you look close hard to see on this video but you can see a little bit of a smoke ring that's about a quarter inch deep it's also about a quarter inch deep on the St. Louis, so uh, equal smoke ring. Uh, take a bite of the St. Louis. It is divine. Um, it, it's got a nice uh, firm, firm texture, but it's still extremely tender. The uh, baby back is is even more tender. Um, maybe it could have been firmer maybe we shouldn't have uh, cooked it quite as long i chalked it up to a personal preference but if i had to choose one of these two i would choose the uh, st louis ribs or spare ribs whatever you want to call them um baby backs are awesome but uh, in this comparison the st louis style ribs win